Good morning guys and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness here on Patreon. Well today I have for you your June Jackhammer special workout. So this workout was inspired by a workout that I did with some of my clients here in person and it is called a whole lot of Tabata. So we're going to start off with true Tabata which means we're going to do one move for eight whole rounds okay of 2010 intervals then we're going to go into some nice Tabata pairs which will seem like vacation in comparison because we'll only be doing those moves four times a piece so you won't need any equipment for this workout just your amazing body lots of water and a towel because this was a super sweaty one so grab all your stuff and I will see you back here for this whole lot of Tabata workout. All right guys let's get this Tabata party started with a good warm-up All right, just start by bringing those knees in, giving it a good squeeze into your chest. One more each side. All right. Let's take it into a back lunge with a reach. And we're gonna pivot another back lunge. Actually, just a pivoting lunge. One leg is back the whole time. You can bring that knee all the way down. Awesome job. Let's do one more each side. Awesome. Okay, while we're here, let's just go into some butt kickers with a reach. You can always do these low if it takes you a few minutes to want to hop around. I totally get that. Really start warming up those muscles, getting a lot of blood and oxygen flowing to them so they're ready to work for you. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna go into a curtsy with a reach. Opening up our lats here, our obliques. Don't let that, that arm just flop about. Get a good reach and a good pull down here. Let's do one more each side. All right, shake it out. Let's come down to your mat here and do some slow mountain climbers. Or just some knee tucks. I am crossing mine over at the moment. All right, let's do some reptiles while we're here. Three, two, one. All right, let's make sure we're all warmed up in our upper body by doing some nice walkouts. You can add a push up here if you want. Really reach at the top.
Awesome job, your warm up is finished. Let's get into this true Tabata set. All right guys, let's go into these true Tabata exercises. Now what I mean by true Tabata is that we're not doing Tabata pairs or Tabata triplets, any of the other little combinations we've done. We are doing each exercise for eight different rounds. So 20, 10 intervals, eight rounds per exercise. We have six different exercises. So we're gonna start off with strikes where we're just gonna be hitting contract um, those abs with each rep. I saw this on a Funk Roberts workout that I did and I really liked it. So martial arts inspired me. All right. So hit hit. I feel like a caveman or Tarzan doing this. might feel like a mess after eight rounds. All right, you got 10 seconds there. Seven more times only. <laughs> All right, here we go. Exhale at the top. Very good. Take a good rest there. Six more times. All right, here we go. Really strike your abs. It reminds you to contract and helps you to contract harder, more fully. Awesome job. I'm going to turn this timer up. All right, here we go back into those sit-ups. Starting to burn yet? Five of eight here. Get it out. Good strikes. Nice. All right. Closer than you were. Six of eight, so you have three more, and one. I did this workout with my boot campers, and they were nicely sore the next day, so awesome. Two more to go. Breathe it out, stretch it out if you need to. Two and one. Eight seconds. All right, very good. Last one. Then we're gonna go into some low, very explosive switch lunges. Here we go. Awesome job. All right, guys, that is your first pair. I'm gonna get us set up for our second, which is going to be low explosive switch lunges. So you're just staying low here. Okay, focus on that explosive switch, that really quick motion. 
focus on keeping that core tight. Focus on not focusing on the burn. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So we're not going for height here, just quickness. All right. Only seven more to go. Awesome. You can take the arm down. Oh, the burn. It's here. It's real. Here we go again. So we're not coming up like this. We're staying nice and low. Awesome. Just a few more here. We're about halfway there. You can also take this into really low back lunges, just like that without the jump. Keep that back up straight. All right. Awesome work. Here we go. Makes a difference having to do these moves eight times for sure. Oh, that was tough. All right, six of eight. Breathe it out. come up in those knees. Try not to do it. Are we having fun yet or what? All right. Here we go again. Give it all you got. These are the last two sets. Last one. You can make them slower. Again, you can take them back. Oh, good job. That's your last one there. All right, take a quick drink. We're gonna go into some Russian or crab kicks for your next group. All right, so if you're doing a Russian kick, you're in a crab position, kicking your legs. If you want to do a crab kick, keep it here, okay? Here we go, 10 seconds. Here's where you are for the next little bit. Here we go.
Really keep that core tight. Two, one. Any workout's good when you can sit down in between, right? In between exercises. Here we go. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Grab a quick drink. Here we go, back down. If you're crab kicking, you can keep on a flat foot or come up to that toe. Awesome work. Not an easy, not an easy move, not an easy format. So take your time, take a break if you need. My mic was starting to go out here, so you're just keeping on with those crab kicks. Really tighten that core. Try to drive those hips up as you kick those feet out nice and quickly. Awesome job. We're at five of eight. Won't be as long as it has been. Whew. Here we go. You don't really think about how arm focused this is until you've just done an arm workout. That was brutal. That's what I did yesterday. Six of eight here, you got five seconds. Here we go. You can always switch your hands, It'll be sideways or backwards. Exaggerate that kick. Ah. All right. Seven of eight, two more. You're gonna wish for these after the next one. Here we go. Ten seconds. You're doing great. Two, one. Oh my. Having a quick drink. It's your last set of these. There we go. Awesome job, guys. You are finished with that set. We're moving on to prisoner pulse hops. All right, guys, next group here. This is gonna be prisoner pulse hops. We're gonna do them eight times. So hands on the head, pulse, explode up, okay? It's gonna get real here in this next interval. Pulse hops are bad enough. Trying to keep your hands on your head and your chest up is a whole nother level there. All right, here we go. Try not to bounce. Awesome job. Got my little guy here with me. He's having trouble keeping still. So if you hear some fidgeting in the background, that's what's going on. Really explode. I always tell my clients, 
you should be able to give me awkward eye contact when you're doing this. And they laugh and they do it. All right. All right, here we go with prisoner pulse hops again. Get those hands behind the head, try to drive those elbows towards your back. Try not to bounce. I'm starting to bounce a little bit here. I think I'm getting fatigued. Just two nice slow pulses and an explosive jump. Good job. All done there. Towel it off. Get ready to start again. Here we go. Prisoner pulse hops. Love. Explode. 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 One more. Good job. All right, towel it off. Got a few more to go here. Won't be as long as it has been. I know I say that a lot, but we're going to get through this. Here we go. Pulse, pulse, explode up. You can also just do a squat here. Two pulses and a squat. Whatever is working for you today, just try to keep that back up. You can do these plie style. You will not get as big of a jump, but it will still be a really tough move. Wipe it off here. All right, Get ready here we to go. start again. Here we go. Try to keep those elbows back. Oh my. All right. Do more here. Here we go. Here we go for those prisoner pulse hops again. Seven of eight rounds are finished. You can take those hands out from behind your head if you need to and either do prayer hands or bring those arms low. I still want you to keep that chest back though. Awesome job. One more set here and we will be finished with this move. I'm just sweating buckets here. I don't know if you guys are too, but oh, I'm soaked. Here we go. Last round, prisoner pulse hops. Good job. Keep that chest up. You want the angle of your chest to be parallel with the angle of your shins here. Really explode up. I know your legs are burning. Almost done. Very good. All right. All right, guys, your next move is going to be kick out. So you can either come down and plank, step up, kick out, Step it back, kick out. You can just run up if the kick outs are hard for you. And you can also just switch by jumping side to side, okay? Got a couple options there, 10 seconds. I moved my mat because it was getting in my way, but I'm gonna need it for my hands, I think. All right, so whatever you need to do, do it. Again, you can Kick out, step it back, kick it through. You can run it up. Or you can just jump, okay? Good times, good, good times. All right. This time I'm going to hop it through. Less than 10. Very good, guys. Keep it up. All right, take a break. These are really tough, you guys. Got a few more seconds and we'll go into it again. And go. Regular kickouts here. Touching back. Kicking forward. Awesome job. Good 
job. Tighten that core. Exhale as you kick forward. Great job, guys. All right, guys, I'm hung on my microphone there, but go down for another set of these kick throughs. Awesome. Here I'm hopping. That's the most advanced modification. Really tighten that core as you hop through that movement and kick up. You can always step it through there too. No problems there. Awesome. We are through another one. Such a tough move. Awesome job. Grab a quick drink and we will get into that next set. All right. Now I'm showing you the beginner modification where you're just hopping up or stepping up. Awesome job. Or you can just do the intermediate modification, which is just that kick through. Or you can jump into the advanced one. Lucky for me, the interval was over. All right, getting wiped off again. Going into that next set of kickouts. I know this is really tough to have all of these repetitions of these same exercises, but your muscles are going to be nice and burning, nice and confused, wondering why you are doing all this repetition, but it will surely pay off. Awesome work. Here we go. Miserable. If you need to for that last set, work through some modification. You can start here. You can step back and kick it up. Really pull that arm in. Exhale as you kick that foot out. Whew, awesome. That was your last one of this exercise, guys. We are moving on to a new exercise and a new eight rounds. Just getting my timer set here for our last move, which is going to be bunny hop burpees. You can also do these as a bunny hop sprawl. I also saw this on Funk Roberts' channel. I thought it was a great move for his martial arts inspired themed workouts inspired themed <laughs> martial arts inspired workouts so what he did here is he kept on his toes almost like for a tie hop came down now you can do your sprawl with one knee up and come back up or you can just do a half burpee i'm going to probably stick to my heels just because i don't want to put pressure on that interior knee so mine will probably look more like this two hops i'm going to sprawl either side by getting that knee down on that outside leg. So one time I'll do left, one time I'll do right, hiking that knee up and putting it down on the ground. So if that was clear as mud, you'll see exactly what we're gonna do here in a minute. You'll see it firsthand, okay? All right, here we go. Eight of these. One, two, I'm sprawling with that knee up. You can stick to just a regular half burpee here. Very good. Whew. You can take it faster. You need to. Here we go. This time I'm sprawling. Knees going up. Very good. Get some water, get your breath. Here we go. Two bounces. A 
I'm slowing myself down here at the sprawl part because my knee keeps hitting the ground real hard. All right. Now that you've seen what that looks like, I'm gonna probably stick to a half burpee here. All right, hop it out. Legs are dead. Don't know why. <laughs> Very good. Saved by the bell there. Here we go again. Weight back in those heels. Nice strong plank. Two hops. I'm doing a half burpee here. Two hops, chest up. Almost there. Awesome job. Shake it out. Six of eight, why did these seem so long? All right, here we go. You can take these just into a squat pulse. Step it back and forward. Totally fine. Keep it up, you're almost there, and you're finished with this one. Wipe off, you know I need to. Straighten your picture. <laughs> All right, here we go for the next one. Burpee, you can squat pulse here again, or you can keep after those jumps. Whatever burns the most, you decide. <laughs> Awesome job, and you're done. We have one more set of these to do, and you will be finished with your true Tabata sets. You guys have held on nice and strong, so just finish strong. Try not to compromise your form. My chest could be lifted a little more here. My jumps could be a lot higher, so do your best. Awesome job, and you are finished with this true Tabata set. Wipe off, get a good drink, and I'll see you back for some Tabata pairs. All right, guys, we are moving swiftly on to some Tabata pairs. We're gonna start with a double thrust side jumping burpee. So you're gonna do two half burpees here. One, two, up, same thing other side, okay? All right, I've got limited space as always, so I'm going to just do the best I can. Take some big jumps if you have space. If not, just do a low side step for that, that uh, side jump there. We're going to alternate that with a single leg V up. So you're going to come up, you're going to twist. Okay. All right. You only have to do each of these moves four times, which will seem like a total vacation at this point. All right. Here we go. All right, double thrust burpees. All right, get a good lateral jump to the side. You can add a push up here if you'd like. Totally don't have to. I wish I could get a bigger jump here, but my space is not allowing for that. So take a big jump if you can. I am trying to, as I do my jump, hit the beam that hangs down low in my living room. So that's what I'm doing there. Now, we're going into those V-ups with a twist. I was just showing you there, you could twist and either do a one leg bicycle or just draw that knee in if the one leg V-ups do not work for you. Really get a good torso twist here. Breathe out on that exhale. Awesome job. Back to those burpees. Awesome job. Double thrust, big jump, double thrust. Awesome. Take it up and over. You could always add a lateral tuck jump here. 
you can always do some low side steps if you do not have the legs for all this jump in today. I totally get it. <laughs> all right, here we go with those B-ups again. Awesome work. Again, you can do a one leg bicycle there if the V-ups are not working. Do what works for you. These workouts are for you. You're not for them. So remember that and do what works for your body and works for you on the day that you're doing it. Challenge yourself, but don't go crazy. <laughs> Here come those burpees again. Here we go. Awesome. One thing we try to do at Velvet Hammer Fitness is lengthen your fitness journey, not stunt it with crazy things that are going to injure you. So remember that when you're doing anybody's workouts. Think about doing the thing that will be challenging but healthy for you to sustain. All right, we're going back down for those V-ups with a twist again. Here we go. Nice, powerful twist. Nice, good, strong abdominal contraction here. Have some fun. These are really fun. They're challenging, but they're really fun. Very good. Done with yet another one. Now we've got those burpees again. Here we go. Double thrust. Nice big jump. going. Nice big jump. And you're finished. Awesome. Get a quick drink. We'll go into those B-ups again for the last time. Awesome. Touch the side of that foot if you can. Again, tuck in those knees if you don't have the hamstring flexibility or if it's just not working for you today. Awesome. That was your last one of this Tabata pair. We are going to be moving on to another in just a second. Your next pair is going to be a prisoner squat plus two jump lunges. And then we're going to add a forearm plank glute lift and front kick on the left to that pair. So you're going to be Lifting up and kicking out. Setting my timer, you'll have about 10 seconds here, and we will get started with that prisoner squat jump with two lunges. You can always take the slow impact if you need to. So for the prisoner squat jump, our hands are behind our head. We're keeping our hands there for the two jump lunges. It's going to be really hard as you get fatigued to keep those elbows pulled back. I know I am struggling with this. As you can see, awesome. You can take it low impact and just do a squat and two back lunges. No problem there. Now we're going to get into that side plank on our forearm, and we're going to lift the glute and then kick the leg forward. All right. I'm going to stay on my knee here. You can totally come up with a staggered foot or even a stacked foot on this move, but I'm staying on that knee because of my shoulder stability problems right now. So you can totally do what I was doing just there and just crunch, pull that knee in and crunch. Or you can keep the leg straight. Here we go back into those prisoner squat jumps and jump lunges. This is a really tough move, so take it as far as you can go. If you get to failure, that's awesome. Stop for a second. Do something different. Now, different may be, you know, just doing some high knees for a minute. It could be doing the low impact modification of that very move. It could be whatever keeps you moving and helps you to not get up, give up. Awesome. Back to those side planks. Touching the toe in the front. 
feeling that glute lift on the side. Awesome. Another one of those is knocked out. I'm wiping off the pools of sweat around my mat. For some reason, this workout has just leveled me. Prisoner squats again. With those two back lunges, here I'm showing you the low impact modification. But if you're feeling good, jump it out. Very good. Those are super hard. All right, back down for that forearm plank. Good job. Try to really tighten that core as you lift the leg up and forward. It's a tricky balance game, too, especially when you're doing it on your knee there. Awesome. All right, I'm slowly getting up for another set of those prisoner squat jumps and jump lunges. If you get into a bind and feel super fatigued, you can always take those hands off of the head and just do traditional jump squats and jump lunges. All right, we're heading into another set of those side planks. Staying on the left side this whole time, staying on our forearm. You could go up on the hands here if you want to. That's up to you. Just a few more seconds here and you're all done. Awesome job, you are finished with this Tabata pair. We're gonna go into some runs with punches right away. And we're gonna pair that with the side plank on the other side. I really want you to punch using your whole body, really get a lot of power. Use that back, don't just throw those arms out there. Really resist yourself, really give yourself a nice, nice strong punch. All right. Side plank on the right. We're staying on the right the entire time. Lifting it, kicking it toward the front. You may have a side where you have more trouble than the other. I know I'm definitely struggling with this side with balance. But just keep going. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to keep trying. Awesome. Finish with that. Now we're going to punch and run again. I didn't give you much time to uh, learn that move. I just threw you right into it. Usually I have to reset my camera, but this time I was good. So I had enough time. So we're punching and running again. Go as fast as you can. Really tuck that chin. Protect your beautiful face. I know it's burning for me. I'm sure it's burning for you too. Go, 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 go. Awesome job. Going back into that side plank on the right. I used my most disgusting towel today for this workout. Sorry about that. Falling apart everywhere. Awesome. My towel is about in as good a shape as my hair is at this point in the filming. Awesome work. Let's get through this. Side plank set. So that we can move on. To that fun run and punch move. I have a little hair problem here, but we will carry on and go on to that next run and punch move here. Really generate a lot of force. Don't just throw those arms out there again. I know I've said that before, but really punch. Pretend like you're coming into contact with something. All right, good job. That one's done. Going back into that right side plank with a glute lift and a kick. All right, here we go. Tighten that core. Try not to twist a whole lot. Sometimes that can put a little pressure on your back that doesn't feel good. 
and touch. Good job. All done with that one. Back into that run and punch. At this point in the workout, I am so tired. I can barely move. I know you guys are struggling too, but keep going. We're nearing the end. Punch, punch, punch. Almost there. A few more seconds. Sometimes moving around helps the time pass. Awesome. All right, now we're going down for your very last side plank, glute lift, and toe touch. Pop it up there, lift, and touch. Try to control that leg, don't just throw it up there. You can hold that arm up or even put the hand on your hip for stability here. Awesome job, you are all finished with your Tabata pairs and ready for your cool down. All right, guys, you made it to the cool down. Awesome work. We are just going to start by reaching those arms up, opening up the chest, and walking down into plank. We're going to step that leg wide. We're going to hold a nice wide stretch that will open up our hips here. Hip flexors, most importantly. They're such a big muscle, and they get so, so tight when we sit all day. Now we're going to take a little thoracic twist, reach up. Try not to scrunch your shoulders. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. All right, hold here. Now we're gonna step that foot back, do a little glute lift, because why not? Then we're gonna walk our hands all the way back up, reach overhead again, and do the same thing on the other side. So walk those hands down, take that right leg out wide, and then we're gonna open up those arms. I did it a little bit prematurely there, but there we go. Stretching out that hip flexor first and then working into that thoracic twist. And release it. Hold there. Really stretch into that hip flexor. Back into plank. Little glute lift and walk it back up. Stretching up again. Repeating that same little flow sequence, stepping the leg wide, holding it there, opening up the chest, trying to find length in the neck there, holding it in the hip flexor stretch again. You can take that hip out nice and wide to get a deeper stretch, glute lifting and walking it back up. Same thing other side, kind of a dynamic way to get into some static stretches. Helps you kind of lower your breath. Reaching up for that thoracic twist. Holding that hip flexor stretch and going back for the glute lift. All right. Now we're going to walk down again, but we're going to go into a pigeon pose. So lift that glute, swing the left leg up in front for a pigeon pose. Rock it back and forth so you get comfortable. If you have the flexibility, come down on your forearms. You can even lower that forehead and let the weight of your upper body really give you a deeper hip stretch. You can also, if you're super flexible, thread that right arm through and put the right shoulder on the ground for even a deeper stretch and an upper back stretch as well. Pop it back up into plank. We're going to lift that other side, take it down into pigeon pose, hang out there for a second, and then lower your forearms to the mat. Bring the forehead down if that feels good, or thread the needle with that other arm and lower that left shoulder to the mat. You guys did such an amazing job today. I hope you had a lot of fun. All right. Now we're going to release ourselves from this pigeon pose. We're going to walk it back into downward facing dog. Stop my timer to give us a little extra time here. 
All right, stretching those hamstrings there with the legs wide. Now we're going to heel toe, heel toe in. Forward folding. Now we're going to interlace those fingers. Pull them back up towards the head. Feel that stretch in the upper back as well as the hamstrings. Lower them slowly and slowly come back up. Now we're going to hit those quadriceps muscles by standing on one leg, using the other leg for counterbalance, and pulling on the toes of that right foot. You're going to drive your hips forward here. Really relax the quad as you stretch. Practice your balancing. <laughs> All right, other side. Grabbing the toes of that left foot, sending the right arm up for counterbalance, making sure to relax that quad. And <laughs> as you see, I'm losing my balance here. You want to drive that hip forward. All right. Now we're going to do a little shoulder stretch, taking the right arm across the body, hooking with the left and looking over the right shoulder. Hold it there. Get a little tricep stretch while you're on that side. And release it. Shoulder stretch on the other side. Look over the right shoulder. Sorry, that would be the left. <laughs> and we will hit a tricep stretch on that side next. Really pull that arm across the body to feel a nice deep tricep stretch. All right, now we're going to make big circles with both arms just to make sure those shoulders are nice and loose. Now we're going to reverse those circles. Awesome. Now let's crisscross those arms. We're changing which arm is on top with each crisscross. Just making sure everything is loose. Rolling the shoulders out. Reversing it. And you are all done with this crazy workout. I'll see you at the camera. All right, guys. Awesome job crushing this June jackhammer workout. It was a lot of Tabata, and it was challenging. I know I was burning burning, burning the whole way through, and I know that I was sweating the whole way through. So if you were like me, burning and sweating, you need to take a lot of water into your body today. You need to get a healthy post-workout meal in your amazing body 30 to 90 minutes after this workout, and you may just need to stretch some more. So stretch some more, take as much rest as you need before trying to tackle something else, okay? Your muscles will thank you and you will not be sorry. So. Anyway, other than that, if you need a more detailed nutrition plan and the support from us to go with it, please email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com because we are doing some nutritional counseling and coaching now, and we would love to help you out. Also, if you haven't heard yet, we have a four-week glute growing program out there now for you all. It is eight new exclusive videos that will help you strengthen and lean out and just carve the most functional glutes you have ever had. So if you wanna join us, please also email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com and we will get you signed up and support you along your way. So other than that, whether you felt like this true Tabata was a true test of just how strong you are or whether you felt like it truly crushed you every single move it is your health today and every day, so you know what you gotta do. You better hit it hard. Boom! I have gotten rid of my mic for today, so I'm filming on my phone. So if it's a little shaky, it's because I'm holding it up. Have an awesome day, guys.